ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू मेक ए सिंपल टाइमर विद सर्टेन सिंपल कंपोनेंट्स विद इन दी मल्टी सिम वी आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स कंपोनेंट्स द कंपोनेंट्स वी आर यूजिंग आर जस्ट दी रजिस्टर कैपेसिटर एंड वन नॉट गेट आई सी लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट ओके नाउ first we need to click on play source so we will go for our battery or dc power source so we can take it out now this is our dc power source after it we need one simple dip switch so we will go to our basic we will go to switch and we will take this dip switch one okay now this will be like that okay after it we need to take one electrolytic capacitor electrolytic capacitor is actually the polar capacitor which has two poles that is positive and negative we can select any of the capacitor okay it's not necessary to select the specific type Uh, like uh, a specific value now after it we need to take our resistor so we can take an arbitrary resistor we will adjust their values after some time okay after it we need to go to ttl and here we will write 74 ls 04 okay now we can see that we have this not get ic okay in the last we need one ground for the proper operation of the circuit okay now this now we need to connect the negative side of the battery with the ground and positive side of the battery with the dip switch one now right click on the capacitor and click on rotate 90 degree clockwise okay now you can see that this is our circuit which depends upon the charging of capacitor like uh, when we will press the switch the capacitor will charge it will ch charge via this 12 volt battery Okay now for discharging we will use one resistor and we will connect it like that also here we need to change it to 1000 microfarad after it we will go for our not get ic and we will connect multimeter with the resistor in order to see the output we can use two method either we can use one uh multimeter or oscilloscope but the best thing is to use the led because we want to see the proper zero or one logic based output so we will go for our led okay wait uh, we will go for our diode and then led or we can simply we can write your led and we can see okay now this is our led okay now we are going to run our circuit double click on the multimeter so that we can see the voltage values first we will press the push button switch so that capacitor will get charged
ओके नाउ वी कैन सी दैट आफ्टर चार्जिंग व्हेन वी ओपन और क्लोज व्हेन वी ओपन द स्विच देन वोल्टेजेस आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉप एंड व्हेन दे विल ड्रॉप ओके नाउ our led become on okay or wait uh, or let me see it first we will try to charge this capacitor okay now you can see that our led is off because we have pressed the switch and our capacitor is now in charging process moreover there is more than 5 volt on the input of the not get ic so that's why led is off now we will open the switch but we can still we can see that our led is off now voltage used to drop slowly and after 5 volt hopefully or after 4 volt hopefully it will give us led on Now you can see that our LED is on. Although it uh, turned on a bit early, but still it's okay. So whenever we will press the switch, LED will off, and whenever. Okay, now again we will see. okay now it it become on so hopefully you got the concept that how you can make a timer with the help of simple components so thanks for visiting our channel